So back-to-back -back days, we're sitting here talking about a major addition to Alabama's recruiting class, and today it comes in the form of not only the number one junior college wide receiver, but the number one junior college player in the nation, Malik Benson, out of Hutchinson Community College. Today, we need to talk about why this is such a great addition for Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, why for yes, and for no. Are you surprised that Benson chose Alabama? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content, and you don't want to miss it. Of it. And if you enjoyed this content, like and comment down below as those interactions, though seemingly small, are incredibly impactful for content creators such as myself. But having said all that, let's jump right in. And this is a major win for Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide. Malik Benson is not only the number one junior college wide receiver in the nation, but the number one junior college player in the whole nation. And that is a win that cannot be understated. Whenever we're talking about what Malik Benson brings to the table, we have to start with the routes because he runs really solid routes. And after that, we can talk about the speed and explosiveness because whenever he gets the ball in his hand, it doesn't matter whether he needs to go five yards or 50 yards. He has got the explosion to be able to make a guy miss and then take it the distance. Not only does he have the explosiveness and burst, but he combines that with long speed. And whenever you can combine that, you're talking about a very dangerous weapon. Because if I can get someone the ball and they can get up to top gear faster than everybody else, that's already great. But if their top gear is faster than everybody else's top gear, well, now you're just compounding positive factors. Because in high school, Malik Benson was clocked at a 10 400 meter dash, and that is the type of speed you just can't coach. On top of that, you're talking about a guy that's running a 10 4 in a 6-1 frame. This isn't like he's some 5'10 wide receiver. This is someone who you can move around the field. You can put him at slot. You can put him at the outside. And that's the flexibility that you love to get. Look, I've talked about this before, how especially at the wide receiver position, whenever you can get guys with varying skill sets, it makes it more difficult for a defense to account for all the different skills you're bringing to the table. But that only goes further when each of those guys can be moved around the field because now you're really messing with the defense and you're getting them to play your game, and that is what I love. At the end of the day, Malik Benson to Alabama makes a lot of sense. When you look at Alabama's rate of development, it is already impressive. But the rate of development they have with wide receivers is astounding. What they're able to do on a year-in, year-out basis is truly inspiring, and it's something that I think we take for granted. Because it's not every day that an institution pumps out a first-round wide receiver year after year, but it's something Alabama has done for quite some time now. And on top of that, they've put multiple first-round wide receivers into the NFL draft multiple years. This is the type of production that makes it hard to say no when Alabama comes knocking and you're a wide receiver. And Alabama has had some misses this year on the trail in the wide receiver room. Brandon Ennis chose to go to Ohio State, someone that the Alabama fan base would have loved to have gotten into this room. But at the end of the day, if you miss on Brandon Ennis, an easy way to make that blow softer is by grabbing Malik Benson, a prospect who's proven at the collegiate level. Even though it's community college, it's still a step up from high school football, and he's proven to make that transition. He's proven to make that transition to the tune of not only the number one junior college wide receiver, but the number one junior college prospect. So this is someone who is college ready. We know they can make that transition, and he offers a ton in terms of speed, route running ability, and the ability to make secure catches. Plus, once you get the ball in his hands, he's going to make people miss miss and he's going to be a walking highlight reel so at the end of the day this is a fantastic get for Alabama it really answers some of the questions as to where they could look for their wide receiver talent in the upcoming class because this is the type of guy you get in and it's much akin to getting in a guy out the transfer portal that has collegiate experience but still has so much in terms of eligibility it's a rare combination that you never argue with and I know Holloman Wiggins Nick Saban and the rest of the Crimson Tide staff cannot wait to get Malik Benson on campus because I know I cannot wait to see him in action. So hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about this. As the rich keep getting richer, Alabama adds in the number one junior college player in the nation, Malik Benson at the wide receiver position, someone with elite route running speed and burst. I love to see it. Can't wait to hear from you. That's it. See you.